This video is strictly for educational and documentary purposes only for viewers 18 years old or older. I do not use or promote the sale of illegal drugs or harmful substances. This video was recorded in a legal Prop 64 state. I've never tried shrooms before. Bro, how could you not eat that? That's a magic pizza. <laughs> Ready to take this trip to the next level, yo. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Slick Frank. You know what it is, it's fucking Friday. My birthday's tomorrow, and I'm just trying to get lit, have a good time, man. Got my dog with me. You already know what it is, man. Man, you know when I'm with this bro, Matt, <laughs> we about to get it lit. So, I got my joint no question. right here. My bro brought some goodies for me. I, I told him I ain't never tried them before, so he's like, bro, I got you. Do, do, do. That good shit right there, man. I don't know if y'all can. I don't know if y'all actually. Let's bust it over. Yeah, bust, bust these over real quick. Now explain a little bit to me, like what shrooms are, cause like I'm new to this. I've seen people take shrooms. I've been around them. I just never tried it. So yeah. So I mean, like you already know, these are like magic fucking mushrooms. These, these aren't the mushrooms you can buy at the grocery store. Um, and so pretty much like, I mean, it's just like weed. There's hella different strains. Um, I actually didn't get the strain name on this one, but you can kind of tell like just kind of how like with the structure just like with weed like the color the density like you know like you have this get this blue tint right here that basically means this shit is like some gas and, and, and the caps is where most of the potency is in like if you eat a cap like if you ate straight caps and i ate straight stems <laughs> i'd be good you you'd be fucking ripped up but yeah, that's basically it. You know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing special. Put it on your back. I ain't gonna eat it right now. Shit. Yeah, we gotta get the ingredients. We actually at the store. I said if I'm gonna try shrooms for the first time, cause I've heard that they taste like ass. Like I wanted to make some food with it, so I'm about to make a pizza. We about to throw these shrooms that's on top. Right. You've never tried these. Yeah, they don't taste the best to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I don't even eat mushrooms normally, so eating magic mushrooms, I can't imagine they taste any fucking better. They're ten times worse, bro. They literally, they literally taste like ass. Like they're grown in fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. How does he know what ass tastes like? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna yuck your yum, but I don't know if I'm gonna let you get my joint no hey, more. <laughs> hey. This video is about about shrooms, not ass. Okay, so back to the topic. I'm gonna try shrooms, and I did a little research myself. And the main active ingredient here, while I'm talking, you spark this up. Oh. The main active ingredient in shrooms is not THC, but it's psilocybin, right? Uh, yeah, psilocybin. Yeah. Psilocybin, and like, you know, I guess that's the magic fucking chemical that gets you fucking high. Have y'all have y'all tried shrooms before? Like, I've never done it before. I've always been a little nervous and scared because I've heard so many different experiences. Like, I've heard people say they've had great trips. They've had bad trips. I, they've seen some cool shit. They've seen some shit that scared them and scarred them for life. So it's like, I don't know what to expect. But I asked Instagram, like, if there's any tips uh, to give me, if there's any tips for me and my bro for while we're shrooming. And the, the responses were pretty dope. Like, y'all are really trying to look out for me, man. Like... What'd you get? What'd they, what'd they Bro, tell like, you? there's a couple people who are like, just make sure you're in a good space with good people. That's the the vibe. vibes are the most important That's thing. Device. Bro, another one was like, don't go anywhere too warm. Make sure to drink orange juice. Like, and he's like, don't go, try to go to sleep. You know, if you just took him, like, don't take him too close to bedtime because you're going to be tripping hard. Like, oh, yeah. Because most times, like, just sometimes you'll think that you can, like, lay down and you basically, like, playing yourself, bro. <laughs> like, like one of the times I took shrooms, like I thought, like the high was over. Like the, I think the half life is like eight hours for shrooms. Oh, shit. The the full like it, it, it what I mean by like like before and after like it's a total of like twenty four or twenty or something. But like yeah. those are just like loose effects. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, like straight. It shrimp. builds up to one point and then it'll start coming down from there, huh? Okay. Yeah, but fuck it. Like if you try to like lay down, like when you think you're coming down, bro, like it just kind of like hits you again. It just hits you again. It's just like damn. <laughs> Hey, I, I've had some people say it's similar to weed, like you're taking an edible, you're just high, just a little different. They keep telling me like you're more in tune with the earth and the vibes around you. So I'm pretty interested to see what that's all about because I'm all about good vibes and just being in tune and one with the universe, you know? Like I'm a very spiritual person and I think, you know, now's a good time to take some mushrooms because I just want to take a trip and I just want to see things in a different perspective for one time. Oh yeah, dude, when you're done, like... I mean, everyone's come down is different. <laughs> like, I was telling you about mine, but basically, in a nutshell, like, it's almost like 
a cleanse yeah. in a sense. And we're not even taking too much. Like we're literally splitting an eighth down the middle. So that's 1.75 per. It's like a nice proper little dose. Like if you're really trying to tr trip, which I wouldn't even really recommend, but like, you know, you would eat the whole eighth or like four grams people typically eat when they want to like go balls okay. to the balls. But. I mean, me personally, 1.75 grams. If that was weed, oh, I smoked that to the face, but shrooms are a little different. Like, I don't know what to expect. So we're going to take it low and slow. There ain't no need to rush into things. So remember, you could, you could always eat more, but you can't uneat it. Once it's in you, it's in you. It's in you, and you're going for the ride, man. So just... If you're watching this, I don't recommend you trying these because, you know, I've never tried them before. But if you are going to try them, I suggest, you know, be around people who are going to take care of you and make you feel safe. And, you know, just have your best interests at heart. Because like everyone said, it's all about the vibes you surround yourself with. Good vibes. Chilling, chilling, chilling. But you know what it is. I got to get my fix of weed before we do anything. Hey, that's something that someone told me before. They're like, don't smoke weed with it. I'm like, why wouldn't I smoke weed with it? Dude, you almost sometimes, like, you fucking have to, bro. Because sometimes, like... I feel you, like I would need it. Like, if I start, you know, you tripping start, a little hard, when you start smoke peaking, a joint, calm when you, down. When you, when you start peaking, bro, like, it's when you want to get, get a little cannabis in your system. So you kind of, like, Have you ever, like, relax. tripped and seen shit, like visuals like um, i've heard people say that they feel vibes and they feel good but i've had some people say they see shit like they see little smurfs or witches and demons like just crazy shit so i i haven't seen anything like that but i will tell you like i've taken it to the point where like shit gets really fucking distorted um like i had this one painting in my old house when i lived back on the east coast in maryland dc um, it was a picture of like the, uh, I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge in uh, New York or whatever. And that was like my favorite thing to look at when we were tripping because like the clouds would be moving in place. It's like, it's like a moving still photo. Hey, I could bro. imagine him tripping off mushrooms and just looking just at staring. the painting. Like... You're just staring at the fucking painting. And yeah. like what I also learned through one of my homies is like a lot of these dudes would be having like heady ass glass would be dropping like 10K, 20K on pieces. Yeah. They're not just doing that shit to have some clean shit to smoke, guys, because these motherfuckers that are dabbing, bro, are doing hella psychedelics. And my homie was telling me, like, basically, it's just cool to look at when you're fucking on it. Because it's like the same thing when you're looking at pictures and shapes, like, things get distorded. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. a still moving kind of, like, the designs, I hear you. like, move like, in place. I think I've seen, like, paintings and portraits and shit that are actually meant to make you trip when you're on psychedelics. Like, they're all weird and distorted colors, and, like, it's just trippy to look at even when you're not high. I couldn't imagine if you're fucking tripping balls. <laughs> For real. I'm excited, though. We gotta fucking, like, <coughs> definitely, <coughs> definitely, definitely be outdoor. Yeah. Someone some was, like... Don't stay inside when you're on these shrooms. It's almost a waste. I was like, yeah. That's how I feel about most things. Like, even with weed, like, I want to smoke and go out. <coughs> Sometimes yeah, I'll smoke and chill, but I don't think you want to take mushrooms and chill. You don't like. want to feel trapped. Yeah. Because, like, dude, like, the whole thing with shrooms is, like, it's, like, the vibes, like, you got to continuously manifest, like, the, the energy. And, like, I feel like things like being indoors or in your room kind of... The feng shui they, they, right. they, the, the feng shui, it confines you, and then that has an effect on how that makes you feel in your head, like, emotion-wise, yeah. like, So, you know. I'm guessing, you know, I'm not even guessing, I'm, I'm really starting to understand what shrooms are going to be like. It seems like they just heighten all your senses, even yeah. the ones that you don't know you so have. So, like, when you're, when you're going down, like, the wrong path, like, like, you need to hit that reverse button and, like, refunction rewire like whatever yeah. it is you're trying to achieve because like you are your own worst enemy when you're on this shit because it can be easily misused it's all up here folks it's all up here but that's one reason why i'm so confident i'm about to have a good trip because i ain't nothing but good vibes and just trying to have fun yeah like, bro it's literally just gonna be cool with yeah. and i got my bro with me man he's been through this he, how many times have you taken shrooms <coughs> more than you can count um i would say about like a good um <coughs> a good like 10 times Double digits. I mean, I yeah, want to call him a pro, but yeah, hey, I mean, well, it's it's like, dude, it's only gonna go up more because like when I first started, I was doing like trip trips, and I would get really fucked up, and then I would not do it forever because like I was scared. But now like I'd be microdosing. Like I'll take a gram like like once a week. Oh shit! Highly. Just take like that. one little mushroom, huh? Yeah, it didn't have to that be a full cool. gram, bro. You can take like like a point three. 
1.4 cap. And you'd be good. Nice little microdose. Like, you can go to work. You can go live your life. But, like, that shit has a lot more health benefits than, like, flat out, like, prescriptions and just, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I can that, imagine because, like, when I, the research that I was doing, it fucking brought it back to, like, the history of the mushrooms and, like, how the shamans and people of the ancient world, they would use them for, like, ceremonies and, like, for visuals and, like, just to give them a new perspective yeah. almost. And it was a very spiritual thing. It wasn't just, like, <laughs> they're doing it to get high, you feel me? It's sacred almost. <laughs> I can definitely see, like, the monks and them using, like, shrooms to, like, elevate their, like... Yeah, uh, I'm you know, saying. Like, That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, shit, my old mentor, bro, like, he's actually the one that got me into, into shrooms or, like, at least put me on to, like, microdosing. Because yeah. I ain't no shit before, but, like... Uh-huh. This dude would just go crazy, bro. Motherfucker would always like. Damn, he'd be like on shrooms. He huh? always, he all, bro was like always on shrooms, dude. I mean, shrooms to me they're natural. Like they come from the earth. They grow from the dirt, and like it's it's a fungus at the end of the day. Like that's a little weird to me. That's one reason why I don't like mushrooms in general. But it's natural. It comes from the earth. It doesn't have to be refined <laughs> to be used. You know, like I think it's pretty cool. That's one reason why I'm comfortable taking it. Like other drugs, like. You know, coke or even prescriptions and pills, all that shit. Like, I ain't really with that. If it ain't if it ain't green, I don't really want it. Yeah, dude. I, honestly, anything like you said, like natural. That's like key word. Any any other drug has been, you know, comes from natural properties, but <coughs> it's stripped with you know raw chemicals, shit like that. Man, it's just it's no way no. It's like shrooms and weed. It's probably like the best combination. Yeah. It's like all I do. I don't, I don't like, know. You know. Shrooms and weed. They make me think of something higher, like, man, did it just happen or was this really designed by, like, the big dude upstairs? The universe, like, because, for real, like, like dude, and that's what I mean by when I say, like, God or the big dude, like, I mean the universe, like, it's all the same thing. God is the universe, we, the universe is God, like, God's in all of us, like, and whatever God is to you, like, it is what it is. I think it's cool to be spiritual, you know, like, it, in your it, gives, you, it gives you a sense of purpose and, like, a higher source than you that you could serve, you know? Yeah, and there's no, like, right or, way, right or wrong way to do that either. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sure if you really look across, like, all religions and all people that practice whatever meditation or, or spirituality, like, <laughs> one thing they all probably have in common is the fucking use psychedelics to, to achieve that higher, higher level of purpose or whatever. Shit, I don't know if they all try psychedelics. Because I was raised not, Catholic, not, and man, every everybody. time I came to Sunday school high, they'd okay. look at me like, Frankie, <laughs> have you been smoking? I'm just like, yeah. Well, I'm talking about people who practice, like, Hinduism, like, Buddhism. Oh, fucking, okay, you know. okay. I mean, hey, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there's but something not everyone, to learn. Not, yeah. not everyone in every one of those, you know, like, there's the exceptions, you know, like. <laughs> there's always an exception. The woke ones. But yeah, I do feel like there's something to learn from every religion, like. I'm not closed-minded at all. I don't think one's right, the others are wrong. Like, I just feel like they all got good lessons. And some people just take the whole concept too seriously, and they be trying to like push it on to other people, which I don't think is cool. Like, I feel like everyone should have the right to choose. That's not like that's like very hypocritical, bro. Like, yeah. if you're really spreading word of God or word of like any type of worship, like, you say your piece, and that's literally it. People yeah. choose to interpret it how they how they wish. That has nothing to do with you. Literally, absolutely nothing. Real shit, man. But yeah, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Man, we literally just sitting here in the parking lot. Smoking. This, look at this dude right there. Civilization. This, this lady's on her phone, like... Vallejo's pop. That's one thing I love about Vallejo. Like, you really just sit and smoke wherever the fuck you at. I'm at the fucking grocery store, y'all. So it's like, need to get high before I go pick out my ingredients. That is throwing shit like, hey, I gotta go get high before I get the you guys ingredients. can't fucking do anything without smoking weed. Right. And we're doing this all just so we can go get even higher off some other shit, some shrooms. Hey, but it's a nice day. Like I said, it's Friday. My birthday is tomorrow. And usually I'm not excited about my birthday, but, you know, lately I've really been taking it to heart. This isn't gonna last forever. Like, one day, we're all gonna fucking die. Or we're all gonna be old and, like, we're just not gonna be able to do the things that we love to do. So it's like, you really gotta take this time and enjoy this shit. Live your life, man. Dude, we fucking both just hit a quarter. Well, you're about, I mean, we're already hit that quarter century mark. You're about to be 26, but like, dude, when you're around that age, bro, like, <clears throat> you really gotta milk that shit and cherish it, bro. Yeah. Hey, 26, that's closer to 30 than it is 20. 
So that's why I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, we're not getting any younger, man. Dude. Like, love, love. I remember love when yours. I was 15, 14, like it was yesterday, man. Like, for real, it's time flies. And it, they ain't lying when they say the older you get, the quicker it goes. So, for all my youngsters out there watching this, for hey, real. do you, but just know, like, that shit's gonna go quick. But don't be reckless, you feel me? Like, <laughs> don't live too fast. Yeah, that's what I'm, you know saying. what I'm saying. It's hypocritical for me to say don't live fast, but just don't live too fast. Shit. You'll run right into your grave. Real shit, man. Because honestly, like, we were just talking about this yesterday. We ain't even supposed to be here, man. Like Statistically, bro, for real. Shoot. Neither and, one of us. And not even as a statistic. Like, <clears throat> if I were to say, like, my five closest friends that I grew up with, Three of them are fucking dead. One of them is on crack somewhere, and the other one, I just, I, we fell off. I don't talk to them, so it's like, the odds are like, damn. Only one's really alive. The other one, maybe, or he's like cracked <laughs> out somewhere. And like, I still got love for them all, but it's like, shit, man. Wasn't supposed to be here. It could have been me, for real shit. Like, <coughs> Same here, dude. I was reckless as fuck when I was a kid. <coughs> Man, this joint is fucking burning forever. I was thinking, yeah, hey, we're gonna have a quick smoke going in the store. Nah, we've been sitting here for at least. Let me check the time. 15 minutes. 15 minutes plus. Stony baloney. Yeah, we're gonna Ooh, today's the day. Shit burn my lips. Oh shit. I'm trying to get a little, a little, a little hot, huh? A little small, a little hot. <laughs> hey, a little trick. If you hitting the doobie and it's getting a little hot, here, I'll show you. Once he passes it back, I'll show you. You're about to blow on it. Nah, I'm not even <laughs> going to blow on it. You take the tip right here and you just squeeze it. So if it's a smaller mouthpiece, it's going to restrict the airflow. So it's not going to burn as hot. So. Yeah, it's funny. I just said stony baloney. This dude's looking at a pack of baloney right now. It's fucking hilarious. He like, literally got a pack of baloney <coughs> looking like He's like right. examining it. Like, oh there you go. He's like, did I get the right one? <coughs> That's fucking hilarious, bro. He's like, my wife's gonna kill me if I got the wrong pack of baloney. <laughs> it's not Oscar Meyer. <laughs> oh shit. Mm. Dude, you remember that song when we were a kid, the commercial? At least show us an Oscar Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit, man. Nah. Hey, the 90s, early 2000s, that was a crazy time Dude, for commercials. The early 2000s was a lawless land, bro. Do you remember the purple colored ketchup? Do you remember that, bro? That shit was insane, bro. Hey, that we... sounds like it disturbed you. Did you Did you use it? No, bro. I was triggered by that, it bro. It was appalled, like, huh? It made me sick to the stomach looking That's at That's hella it. funny. Nah, I ain't never fucking used no purple. The I remember the green ketchup. Bro, that the shit inventions was funny. that were being made back then. You like who the bro? Who the fuck is like? Like. All right, well the joints out, y'all. It's time to go get these ingredients. Let's get it. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. Make sure. Matt, I knew today was gonna be a good day. I just knew today was gonna be a good day, and I forgot that I had a package coming. Check it out, yo. This package contains alcohol. Fragile. Hold this room, bro. You seen on um, Christmas Story? Movie fingers, movie fingers. Fragile. Must be Italian. Ooh, the spirits. Hey, they really fucking wrap this. That'd be funny if it got all the way here and I drop it, and I'm the reason why it breaks. Uh, Ooh. Man, super exclusive. Yeah, man, it's so exclusive. It don't even really have a label. That's oh yeah, dude. Uh, what would they put the wrong? Yeah, this is some agave rum that the dude sold me. Bro, it's like, it's rum in the front, but it's tequila in the back, and it's so smooth, like you could drink this shit warm. Oh, 
Alright, and this one, this is the one I'm excited about. I had to buy the big bottle of this shit. Dude, it's from Jalisco. I definitely want to try this. We will take a shot. We definitely go take a shot of that. Before we take our little trip. Before. Yeah, because we still got to make the pizza and shit, so might as well get a little uh, in our okay, system, you, know you feel what, me? you're right. The pizza's going to be like, what, 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah. I mean, I'm just waiting for my sister to get out of the pizza. You can't even wait to, <laughs> Leave it to, to be done washing dishes for you to record. Yeah. Yeah. She's just in the background. It would have been a dick move if I would have interrupted the video. Oh, that's my baby sister. Look how... Look no, I face. look a mess. It's early. It's too early. It's <laughs> over. It's early. I could not wait. Literally tore open the box as soon as I seen it. But yeah, I got some liquor that I had shipped to me. I got some tequila from Jalisco. Add that to the list of what we doing today. You ready for this, dog? Yeah, I gotta pause this. No copyright, no copyright. No copyright, but for those of y'all who wanna know what we listening to, that's a slap right there. Not like a weed grinder, you know, but like something for the kitchen to grind up, you know, your herbs. I mean, we could use a grinder, but I don't know if you want to put your weed through there after that, because you might smoke some. Why not? Hey, can you smoke your? Uh, I don't know. You might go retarded. <laughs> I wouldn't try it. I don't know. But anyways, pizza's in the works. I got the sauce cooking right there. Got the dough doing its thing. It's rising. That's right. I'm ready to eat. Hey, I'm showing them my secrets because, you know, Chef yeah. Frank, yeah, I was say, I'd be Chef in the Frankie, kitchen. Chef Frankie uh, giving lessons right now. Hey, I, I should charge for this, for real. <laughs> but yeah, fucking check this out, y'all. Just put up a new YouTube video while I'm recording a new YouTube video. All right, I guess it's time, bro. All right, y'all. So pretty much Frank insisted that we take some now before we put it on the pizza. So found the most identical ones. We're going to take our own cat. That one's about... Three quarters of a gram, and then this one's also three quarters of a gram, just about. So. I'll take the bigger one. Since you're more experienced, yeah. I've never tried shrooms before. I don't recommend taking them because you never know how you're gonna react. But you know, I'm a risk taker. No risk, no reward. So I guess it's cheers, right? Yeah, I'm breaking. What are you doing? It. You breaking it up? I'm making it. You easier. ain't gonna just like chew it. Nah, it's hard. It's, I'm gonna make it easier. Tastes bad. Not a little funky taste, but do it, do it. I'm really about to eat a fucking shrimp, y'all. Mm. Cheers. No lie, it tastes like dirt and manure, kind of. Not that I know what like manure would taste like, but like based off like the smell, it's funk, bro. That's why we're putting it on the pizza. Yeah. Big fun. Damn, that was just a cap. I gotta eat the stem too. The stem's better. The cap is raw like the... No, the stem tastes like a fucking stick, dude. But the cap does have more flavor, so... And that's not good flavor. <laughs> None of it's good flavor, y'all. I'm gonna have to wash it down with some tequila or something. No, I agree, no I'm bro. kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water. Some only water. That was my first time trying a shroom right there. And that's just one. Okay. How many more we got left? So we just took a gram and a half basically. So there's two grams left. 
because this is me. Oh, it's a little more than two grams. Oh, two point hooked it up, huh? Yeah, see, I like that blue tint. And if you look like, damn, that's funk right there. That's funk on top of the cap. That's big dank. Big dank. I don't know. The one thing that always turned me off about mushrooms is the fungus. So it, it's technically a mold and a mildew. It's in that classification. So it's like we're eating that. But I've always known bad mold and mildew because you don't want that shit in your weed. But I guess mushrooms is cool, huh? Yeah, mushrooms is the exception. Yeah, we should run this through a grinder and just like sprinkle it on the top. You know? Salt. Right on the pizza. Hey, let's check on the pizza right now. Check it. I got the sauce is damn near done. Dang, the yeast is doing its thing. Oh, yeah. That's ready right there. Let it breathe for a second. Let it breathe, Matt. Come on, baby girl. Give you some CPR. <laughs> but yeah, Slick Frank, in case y'all don't know, I love to cook. Everything I like to eat, I like to cook it myself pretty much if I don't go out and get it. So From scratch. From scratch. Matt's like, man, we could have been ordered a pizza. Nah, nah, it. nah, not even, man. I appreciate the, the Yeah. The hey, kitchen. something about a home cooked meal tastes way different than whatever you're gonna get from the store. Even if it's not as good, it still hits different, you know? It's the soul, it's soul food. <sighs> this is just about ready. Sauce. That's the flavor right there. More sauce. Not that sweet. More sauce. That's Hey, don't get lost in the sauce, y'all. And I'm guessing we're gonna add the shrooms at the end or while it's cooking. I'm not the expert, you are, Matt. So, mm, we shall what do you think? We shall wait. Okay. How do you like your pizza, man? You like it cheesy or extra cheesy? All right. In between cheesy and extra I say that's smooth right there. Uh, you know what time it is. I'm about to throw this bad boy in there. No timer, we go by feel. Matt's always asking like, Hey, so how much salt did you put? Was that like one teaspoon? I'm like, nah, it's like that much. <laughs> yeah, feel it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Flavor's all about feel, yo. So I think that we should leave. Like, I think I don't know if I'm eating four whole slices. So we should split the last two grams and add it to however you want it on your pizza. Like if you want to spread it on all four slices, you do that. I'm gonna probably put mine on just like one slice. Get down on it. Mm. How you gonna do Alright, so I went to my backyard. I was feeling like I wanted some lemonade and I realized I had a lemon tree, so you know what it is. Let me check on this pizza. Oh my god, that's just about done. Bro, how could you not eat that? Like if you're in the comments and you say that's not a good looking pizza, you're fucking tripping. Hey, I'm gonna let that do its thing. You tripping more than I am right bro, now. Bro, hey, you gonna help me with these lemons? Yeah, bro. Yeah, your cutting boards. Not cutting gonna board. lie, uh -huh. I think I'm starting to feel the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll know when you start when it started to hard, become hard to do things. I don't know you'll about notice. if it's hard to do things, Not hard, but like, you'll see what I'm I definitely about, feel though. happy. I'm happy as hell right now, and that's a good thing. So, I'm digging mushrooms, magic mushrooms. You get a fucking A one for now. I'd be feeling hella good. I'd just be questioning like my next moves. More juice comes out. <laughs> Dude, the pizza is ready. I'm fucking psyched. You gotta take a little bit of fresh basil, a little Italian parsley, throw it on this thing. Gotta throw some kind of greens in it, you feel me? Can't only be smoking them. I can't lie, vlogging while I'm on mushrooms, it's a whole different experience too. I feel like I'm looking at it at a different perspective right now. Not even in my own vlog recording. It's like Vlogception. Y'all seen the movie Inception? <laughs> it's like Vlogception, exactly. Dang. My man's all already done. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go to work. Come on, let's hey, clock in. I can dig it, man. But hey, the pizza's resting. Lemonade's about to begin squeezed. Yes, sir. I'll update you when we're about to sprinkle the magic mushrooms on the pizza. Let's go. Oh, shit. Damn. All right. Damn, did I break the scale? What happened? You broke my scale? Oh, no, bro. Yeah. Come on. So, yeah, we basically about to weigh up the last of it. Damn, I can't believe we're really about to... Go ham with this yeah, pizza. Two grams, so. About to throw it on this beautiful pizza. Point four, four, it's almost right. a shame to fucking throw it on the pizza because the pizza's good, but the mushrooms Seven, taste like four. ass. All right, wow. you get to eat this one just because this one has that weird fucking growth coming out of it. I don't the want retarded that. looking one. Yeah, that's that's the extra umpty we're talking about. On that, I guess I'll squeeze some fucking lemons. 
Yeah, that's the Grammy. Yeah, that's the Grammy. This is his pizza. The Grammy Mammy. This is my pizza. Oh, why? Because this one's like all straight fun. Just because that has that weird tumor You're scared. You're scared. That's I don't want to say I'm scared. scared. It's just that looks weird. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> it's going to get me higher. No, not even that. Just it doesn't look appetizing. Oh. The rest, I guess, I can make it work. But yeah, check it out, yo. That's a fucking magic pizza right there. Literally. I guess we're going to enhance the trip. Because I can't lie. I'm feeling the mushroom. But I'm not like super tripped out. Like It's comparable to like an edible, you know? Just feeling like that. Yeah, like you feel that like tingle in the back of your spine. Yeah, yeah. What's this about? I'm gonna break mine out more. I know, you just threw a whole ass fucking mushroom on my pizza, didn't even break it down. I really needed to put music on. <laughs> that was a good way to fly. Hey, I can't lie, as soon as you put the music on, I you came back, I was just like. Yeah, yeah, that's literally. Mm. Had to turn the music off for a second. It was vibing though, but yeah, I got my pizza right here. Whew. Ready to take this trip to the next level, y'all. Might as well just put it right on the tip, yeah, just so I get deal. it, huh? Mm -hmm. This real deal, people. Mm. Oh yeah, I can't lie. This pizza's fucking awesome. Oh yeah, they made it like mm. that much more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I make one hell of a pizza, y'all. Real shit. Shout out to my bro for helping me. Hell yeah, bro. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's good, yo. So, <laughs> how do you feel right now? I'm hella vibing right now. I don't know. It's already, like, thin for me. I don't think, like... I don't think it really takes much for you to, like, start feeling it. So, like, basically, we popped, like, 0.75 each. So, it was, like, three quarters of a gram. And like right when we started feeling it is when we we're like, it's like right when we're eating the pizza right now and like I already like scarfed my whole slice down. So that other gram will probably kick in in another like 45 minutes to an hour. So we're just gonna kick it for now. Um, kind of just ride, you gotta ride the wave honestly. Cause like, they can just go in any direction. We just gotta keep I wanna vibing. I wanna go outside, that's one thing I wanna do. Yeah, we gotta fucking I mean, like. It's not the most beautiful day outside, but I can find some beauty in it and we go enjoy it y'all, so. I'm gonna munch down on the rest of my magic pizza right here. Look at you can see a little bit of shroom left. And yeah, we just gonna vibe it out, yo. Wish me luck. <laughs>